Hey Monica. Another Sunday. My family moved to Jacksonville in, in 1992. Growing up, I mean, I love to travel. My wife and I love to travel. I was in Special Forces and she was in the CIA. We did a lot of travel to a lot of different places. Just about to turn the corner now. <laughs> Both Emily and I said when we were younger, we will never come back to Jacksonville. I'm Jason, I'm the co-founder of GoRuck. GoRuck is about bringing people together in the real world. It's about the community and the camaraderie that I felt in Special Forces. That feels good. I think we have the best beaches in the world. And so it becomes this community park, this community green space. It's got a little charm, you know, Southern hospitality, it's kind of a good counterbalance in my life. We bike to work or ruck to work, and we, we love it here. Oh, monster, good timing. <laughs> Here we are, the home office. Part of it is just accumulation. It's a little too much sometimes, but you know, it's an important place. I mean, I keep my wallet, my keys and stuff there. So every day it's always coming through this spot, always. I'm a huge Smashing Pumpkins fan. This is one of their archival releases. That, it's like the first time they played stuff from the Adore album. Bullet of Butterfly Wings in Zero in 1979 and Tonight Tonight. They're sacred to me, that, that music in my life. And so many of the themes that Billy was writing about really just resonated with me. This is like backstage in, <laughs> that's, that's a long time ago. Fun memorabilia, you know? It not only takes me back, it reminds me that it's okay to still be figuring stuff out. Pick a band and love them, be unapologetic about it. This is a lot of discovery here. My dad had a big record collection. Oh, okay, Dark Side of the Moon back then came with a couple of posters. Like this is how records used to come. You're not gonna ever get that in a Spotify playlist. You're just never gonna get it. The point is not, hey, look at me. That doesn't interest me. What interests me is this reminder of what I owe because of that. That was really a large part of my office is to remind me the guys that I served with. That's the green beret I wore. That's a 10th Special Forces Group flash, which is the green background. And then the Yarbrough knife, which is not for sale. You have to earn that one. To bring those to life here, it brings back a lot of the hardship. It brings back a lot of great memories, but it really brings back this kind of sense of, of service to something greater than myself. We've been here for six years, but these memories are from a lifetime. I spend a lot of my life not really wanting to read fiction for whatever reason. You know, these things come and they go. I found that Hemingway is a fantastic read, especially when traveling, it's really, Imagine that, it's really well written. Books are rich with just life. People call this a dense book, Sapiens, but I, I think it's just fantastic. I really enjoy human nature and like how, I just don't think we can cheat that. Having some perspective on how we evolved and didn't and are still evolving, I think it's, it's fascinating. So I found that to be a, an incredible, incredible read. I was taking pictures of some of our, our gear early on in GORA. Stuff was not figured out. Like the hardest thing to do, I think, is to go from zero to one. And so I ended up doing a lot of things with Java, like drove to 48 states together. This picture specifically was just at a, you know, a photo shoot that we were doing in Bozeman, Montana. He's on Overwatch for me, which is kind of what he did for me. You know, and that was like the first step. And then that unlocked so much more. Coming into GORUCK, I didn't know anything about manufacturing or design. I just had old packs that I'd had in, in the Army. 
was like, okay, well, let's make this a little cleaner, a little simpler, a little more beautiful. This was at the bar and it was a late night and we just sort of started sketching it out a little bit and just rapping about, you know, proportions of, you know, this ended up, you know, one to 1.6, you know, two by three ends up being more of the golden ratio that you'll see in the patches and on all of that stuff. Because the military had all different kinds of Velcro sizes and simply broken down. It's, hey, Velcro here and a little bit of the molly webbing here. And then how do you work those proportions out so that it's not too little and not too much. And, and so this was at a time when I had nothing figured out, but at least I had one damn napkin sketch, you know? Probably the oldest picture of, of me and M is, is there. That's when we were in high school at a tennis tournament. You see the old yellow school bus in the background. Up top, life was not super good when Java and I ran the, the half marathon together. Actually, Ruck ran it. This is exactly how the bodies fell. This is an old desk of my grandfather's and my kids, my boys specifically, have co-opted it is now their I don't know exactly what it is. This exists in their mind. That's the beauty of it. All right, let's go check out the garage. Monster, come on. A great garage has to be an active place. There's tinkering, there's bikes coming in and out, there's skateboards coming in and out. That's how we live our lives right here. You got, you got options, you got options. Can't go too far with us without getting something highly America, America'd up. I learned most of my decor from a Special Forces team room. And you definitely, 100% of the time, have an American flag. When I first moved to Florida, it was like six or seven Special Forces guys all living in the same place called the Cadre Team House. So if you look over here, I just wrote, Go Rock Cadre Team House, Florida, 2012 to 2014. In the Army, when you go through and you get a new unit, you have a patch that represents that unit. That was the inspiration for the patch universe at GORUCK. I mean, if I only got one patch for the rest of the time, I'd put the American flag on it. Kind of all dates back to that for me. When we're here, the garage floor's open. We have bikes and skateboards and surfboards, and there's lots of trees. This house would not be near the house that it is but for that tree. You get people that run by or walk by or, you know, we know all the dogs in the neighborhood. Every once in a while, some people will drop off some beer, it just sort of magically finds its way in there and get a beer fridge for your garage. If you're coming in here, right, to grab a beer, you, you'll see that 10 Special Forces group right there. Those, those are the roots. The ice cream freezer up top, that's really important too. Girl Scout cookies, perfect. Yeah. If you're a new dad, I got a life hack for you. If you wanna be of real value to mom and to your, your kid, get yourself a front loader, put your front loader on, put the kid in the front loader and go outside and walk and walk and walk. One of our friends, his gift to me was he went and got it framed. We have to be very deliberate about the space that we have. We build this stuff, of course, sandbags and medicine balls and rucks and sand kettlebells and all this stuff. It just gets stored right here. It's very simple. And so there's all different sizes, all different weights that can accommodate all different kinds of people. This is a reminder that we're gonna put this stuff outside and we're gonna use it and then we're gonna drink some cold beers when we're done. Yo, how's it going guys? Good, man. 3.30 on a Sunday afternoon, so this is where the people descend. A little bit of whatever we're gonna do today. We don't even really know yet, but. Okay, what do we, what do you wanna do? I don't know, let's talk about it. There's lunges, there's burpees. Lunges or push-ups? Push-ups. <laughs> I don't look forward to necessarily doing push-ups or burpees or pick your thing, those, those things suck. But I look forward to seeing my friends. And it's a really good excuse to have people over and then take it as it comes. Do we want to swap out the overhead press since we're doing burpees or no? Or you just want to get really strong? I'll get really strong. This is not a toilet trust fall kind of day. This is like a get, get strong, like Terminator kind of day. <laughs> All right, sweet. If you drop it, you are 100 burpees. Come on. Let's go. All right, squats. I don't really like strength training. What I do love is doing it with my buddies, though. 
That's how camaraderie and community is, that's how friendships are formed. When people know to meet in the driveway at 3.30 on Sunday afternoon, there's an accountability to that. There's value in the consistency of it, and we just kind of kept it up for years now. You know, people kind of look forward to it. I know I do. There they are. There it is. Gran Torino. Is. All three of them. <laughs> meet us where you are, and we'll meet you where we are, and let's have fun doing it. It is a process to print something up in the real world. This is the uh, cold plunge recovery. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Cheers, man. Good work. It really comes from my time in the Army where you have this great team, and it's sacred, and it gets even more sacred over time. And it's about bringing that to, to more people in their lives. Go do something. That's the first step. Say yes, show up, invite others, do the things that you enjoy doing and you're gonna meet the people that also enjoy doing those things and that's where it comes from.